What's up? Happy Sunday, everybody. I know some of y'all been asking for these videos. Some of you don't really care. So this is what I'm making today. Sausages, zatarants, red beans, and rice. I guess they didn't have the family size because he picked four, no, two, four, five boxes of these up. So this is a quick, this is not homemade, um, but I'm going to just show you how I make it, okay? I think y'all seen me make zatarants, red beans, and rice before. So I've already started opening this. I'm about to cut up my sausages on my bamboo cutting boards that I got for free um, a long time ago. So if y'all been watching me from the beginning, y'all probably got a couple of these sets for free as well. I got a ton of them, like the small ones and the big ones. So yeah. All right, so I've already chopped them up like this. Normally I'll get like three or four and then cut those in half. Remember, everything is always optional. You do it how you want to. I have a big family, so to make more, you know it's really the same. You're just cutting it up smaller, but it appears to be more. I cut it up in half, then I cut it up again. So essentially, cut it in quarters, you know, to make it really small. And I do this kind of quick. I just pour sesame seed oil in the pot because it was smoking. Um, you guys know sausages and meat makes its own grease. So I really didn't need the sesame seed oil. But I just poured a little bit in the pot, which um, I'll show you that now. See, just basically covering the bottom. Okay, your hands are clean. Did you wash your hands? Okay, they, they're not clean. I don't care about you looking at your hands, talking about, yeah, they're clean. Go wash your hands. So I'm gonna put these in here. I always do the same um, when I cook my red beans on it. My, uh, how I cut up my sausages and everything. I mean, with my sausages, most people, they do different things. Like you put different meats in the red beans on it. Some people don't put meat at all in it. I'm doing this with one hand. It's cute washing this hand just to show you guys. One sausage cut in four parts. John, I get a stack of them and put them in there. You don't need to waste dishes by getting a, um, a frying pan and frying these, frying them right in your pot, just like this. And once they're almost done, sometimes I have some burnt ones in there. Guess what? It still tastes good with the red beans and rice. All right, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna cut these up and let you put them in the pot. Cute, about to let the sausages burn out because he can't find it. Let me take this off the stove. I'm trying to find the stove. Let's stir it. They burn really quick. See that? And I got the stove on three. Even if I didn't put oil in it. You got a spoon in? You wipe it off? Okay. Watch out. Come on, that side. I have to cut the booty right here. Chef chop. <laughs> okay, Q. Um, I want that butt cut. A little tough part. Working with one hand here, y'all. Don't judge me. Okay, Q. It don't really matter. Get, put the spoon down and get hold the cutting board and brush it all. Hold it at an angle. Yeah, where the corner of the cut board is towards the um, pot. Go ahead. Drop it all in there. Drop off every little piece. Oh boy, you almost took my thumb. Watch what you're doing. Okay. So, um, I'm going to do this whole sausage. And while here, just stirring. burnt piece are going to be yours. Well, I promise, after the zatarant sauce and everything, you're not going to really taste that. I mean, you might, but just call it Cajun, okay? They don't look burnt, they just look well done. Really? Yeah. Well, well done. And don't be putting your face and nose and stuff over my pot. You know, the steam hits your nose. If you got any boogers in there, guess where the boogers going? In the pot. Huh? In the pot. <laughs> so, yeah. 
keep your face and hair from over my food. It's your food too. Unless you don't mind eating your own food and hair, but I don't want to. Let me go ahead and cut my other links up while I'm playing with you. The letter of today is what, Q? J. Or... That? You don't know what letter that is? You don't know, I know that. Soleil! What letter is this? Uh, what letter does this look like? Uh, like... What? R, yes! How what does she know line? that? What about the line? It's a lowercase r, dork. Oh. Oh my gosh. We put in Q in special ed, babe. Right. Remember, you don't have to saw when you first start. Hold on. Move the ones you cut out of the way. Put that there. Watch your fingers and put your hand on top of it to push it down if it's hard for you. Yep. And see, you only have to saw a little bit to saw through the skin of the sausage. But the rest of the flesh, you should be able to just push the knife right through. There you go. Got some back here. Do one at a time because though it's going to be watch your fingers. Slide it back with the knife. Yeah. That one bigger, huh? Thicker. Mm -hmm. Cut that up from here in a second. Put it on there. I took the pot off the eye so they won't burn. Can you scrape those in there without dropping them? Come on. Some um, people say this is what that hole is for. Did y'all know that? Like the hole in the cutting board. So it's not just for hanging, I guess. And remember, I have the eye on three, so I've had it off. It had time to cool down. So can you cut the rest of it up? Slices thin. That's kind of thick. I did one kind of thick too. Every time you cut, you move your finger back like an inch or a centimeter. Don't let it slip. Hold that sausage, boy. You know, like when you go to the toilet, you gotta do it the same way. You don't wanna cut it off, do you? Huh? No. <laughs> Why are you looking like you about to laugh? <laughs> well, no, this is different. That's a Vienna sausage. This is a big boy sausage. What you have, there to be in all that stuff right in school? Yeah, you do. <laughs> They don't hear from home, they're gonna hear it at school. To all you super critical parents out there, don't be judgmental. All right, we got our sausages going here. Oh, I still got my little super sore the next thing. All right, wait a minute, we got the sausages. Hold on. We got our sausages in our pot. Okay, and I have my son here. My son. My Brooklyn accent is not good at all. I'm better sticking with the Southern. We're about to have us some supper here in a minute on this good Sunday. Hey, boy, don't you play with that knife over there. You'll hurt yourself. Go ahead and scrape the rest of that here over here in this pot over here. Over yonder. Here over yonder. What are you doing, boy? You don't listen, do you? One more. That'll be quiet in here. I don't know where my chewing tobacco is. These kids have been touching all my stuff. All right. Do it like that, like sir. There you go. Ooh, supper's about to be so good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Like, you like supper? Yeah. Why your voice like that? Huh? Why your voice like that? Why is my voice like what? You like supper, don't you? I don't know what she's talking about. She's talking about why is my verse like that? What do you do you mean why is my verse like this? What's wrong with my verse? You can like, what's wrong with your voice? Huh? You can like, what's wrong with your voice? 
Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, girl. Yeah, I want to look at. We are from the south. The dirty south. You found the bad made a man. Hey, you found the bad made a man. That's that rapper, um, Jesus, that thing that, right? The bottom of the map? His yeah. name Jesus, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I love Jesus? Je oh, Jeezy. I thought it was Jesus. I going to say, that's a good feller man right there. He loves the Lord. He yes, he does. A learner? Who stacked my dishwasher like this? Oh, my goodness. Just a scrape. All right, for the stir top directions, it says half a pound cut into bite-sized pieces, smoked sausage, cooked chicken, cooked ground beef or ground sausage. So basically anything you want to put in here. And it says also cook, mix three cups of water. It does not say of, but I added that. It says mix three cups of water, rice mix, meats of your choice, and two tablespoons of butter. If it says tea, B, that's tablespoon. That's the big spoon that you eat with. If it says T-S, that's teaspoon. That's the tiny spoon that you can drink your tea with, okay? So I don't have a one cup. I can't find it. I do have one. It's a yellow one. So I got my half a cup here, all right? And that's food up under my nails, okay? Um, I got my half a cup here. So what they said, three cups going to be two, four, six of these, half a cup, double, because this is half. So Q, that's, that's for one box though. So Q, go get me six of these and fill them up with word and hurry up. Why is there your source of this? All right. How's everybody's Sunday going? I hope it's going good. That's a half. Go ahead. You might as well keep the water on. Pour it. Don't be with all that slow stuff now. Keep the water on. Keep the water on. You're going back and forth. Okay, that was a half. Now that's one cup. Come on. That's one and a half. Faster, faster. The thing says three. You got a long way to go, sir. I lost count. How many is this? Four. So two cups. Yeah, that's your fourth trip. That's two cups. Need two more to make three cups. Two and a half cups. Yep. That's five half cups. You're right. This is two and a half. And three. Okay. Turn the water off so I can just show them this. I'm not going to show them every single box that I do. Um, get the butter. Get the lard and get the Crisco. I don't know where the butter is. Just grab some right there, that country crop. Yep, don't get me that other off-brand stick butter that doesn't melt and just float in the god darn water. Okay. We got country crock here, all right, people? Um, I don't measure the butter. I just put whatever I feel like. I got my spoon here. Here, Q, can you come over here and hold this butter, please, son? Where are you going? As they get on my nerves and stop going to one store because Yvette Miller, I see your comment, baby. That's about two tablespoons for one box. All right, you can leave the butter here, but put the lid on it. Watch your arm. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and open this box, the first box. Come on, you gotta be faster than me now. Well, faster than lining. I know you're still learning, but... Okay, when you take it out the box, it comes in a little bag like this. You're going to rip it horizontally, straight across, so you won't lose any rice. Yep. That's horizontal. All right. Take, yep. And rip it all the way off and leave it like that. Come on, pour it in there. Get in the middle of the pot. Stop being scared. Get it on the edge. Make sure you get it in there firm. We don't have money or food stamps to waste over here, okay? So if you were doing one box, that's all you have to do. You'll have a sure ton of meat. 
but we're doing oh, it already feels good like that in New Orleans style New Orleans okay so same thing we just did for that we're gonna do for the rest of the boxes we gotta cook a lot of boxes um so it's gonna be three cups of water per box then I'll add another spoonful of butter three more cups of water for another box another spoon of butter all right so we got two more boxes left Q's just opened the other one he's taking the bag out and he just asked me he was like so 12 and I'm like nope don't get ahead of yourself we're gonna do one box at a time so you don't get confused and you can lose count at a bigger number so for this box six more V's because remember this is a half if it was one cup then you only need how many how many Six. If it was, if this was one cup, how many of these would you need? Three. Yeah, because three cups. So you, if you, this was a one cup measuring cup, you only need three. But since we can't find the one cup, we're using the half. So that's going to double it. You do six. So before you pour that in there, nope. Put the water in there first. What if the water gets turned off and you already poured the rice in there? You're going to have some dry rice. See, if you put too much water, you could just cook it a little longer until the water cooks out. One, all right. There you go, leave the water on. Two. I have to turn this back up a little bit. Turn it up to eight to get it to boiling. Three. into the bag and put it into the box. The empty box is right here. Always clean up your trash while you're cooking. Put the bag into the box. Yep. Go throw that away. And we got one more box. So he wanted me to cook all five boxes. The man of the house. So that's what we're doing. So go ahead and get six more cups, please. Oh wait, you forgot one step. Get two tablespoons of butter for each box. Yeah, you really don't have to measure it. You know how much. That whole corner right there. Nope, right there. It's on the side of the butter, yep. Because it got food on the spoon, so you don't want food out on your butter. All right. Put it on the lid. Six more. Don't, no, never put nothing on an eye. I don't care if you, no, I don't care. I know it's not on, but you make a habit of never sitting anything on an eye. Yes, go get six more cups of water. He sat the plastic lid to the butter on um, an eye over there. You, I'm trying to get them in the habit not doing that. One, even a dishcloth, a dish towel, anything. Somebody else can come in here and turn on the stove, or maybe somebody else already turned on the stove and you didn't know it. How many is that? And then you sit something on the eye just because it's not red or it doesn't appear to be hot, but it could be heating up at the moment, and now you set the house on fire. Three. If you've gone in the room or something, or you're on your game or watching television, never, ever, ever see anything on the eye. How many is that? Four. your last box open it the bag rip it horizontally over the stove I prefer so you don't drop it all over the floor and you can save it if y'all watch my Thanksgiving video then y'all know about Q's crumbs and Venus <laughs> pour it in the middle I'm not getting out about that like the turkey all right ball it up put it in the box Hurry, run to the trash, right back so you can turn the water off on your way back. Butter. Put it on in there. And you can put a little bit more. 
like about the same, about the same. Why do we glory negative things over positive things? Oh, I see you pop the duck. Just upload the video. Okay, put the lid on the butter. Give me the spoon. Put the butter back in the fridge, please. Can you put the cutting board and the knife in the sink and that little plastic from the sausage pack so it don't get on the stove or the floor? And so I have somebody find it. Thank you, sir. Oh, he's so polite talking about your little cool. You know, I teach my children to be respectful, okay? Come on. Why are you walking so slow? He just moves slow. That's all. That's the only issue I have. Now, sir, from the bottom. Just in case something's sticking. You know, this is my stick pot, too. A lot of things stick to the bottom. You can feel it. And speak up. You're talking. They can't hear you. Okay, so um, I didn't even read how long to let this boil for, but I normally just do it by eye. Once um, most of the water is um, drained out, then I'll turn it down on like two or one or low, just depending on how much water is drained out. And I'll just put a lid on it. If you don't have a lid, put a plate over it or aluminum foil, just something to cover it, okay? And um, it'll the steam will cook it, the rest of the rice itself just like you do white rice but we just basically want these beans to cook the sausages are already done now so we fried those you don't have to fry your sausages you could just put them in here and they'll boil with the um rice that's just something that i do so um maybe we should have left the cutting board over here yeah for the spoon i'll hold it go get the cutting board rinse it off though and have the raw sausages on it Yeah, I feel something sticking right there. Move that plastic bag, throw it away. Is, wait, is there a receipt in there? I think I already uploaded it on Fetch, yeah. The public receipt. And got my little free cookies and some more points. Okay, put that over there. Do you know where the lid is to this pot? You gotta climb up there? Okay. So we're going to um, let this boil. Once it starts boiling, come back and just stir it constantly so it won't stick. And yeah, y'all will see the rest. You know the deal. Y'all know this is a pet peeve of mine for people to throw stuff in the trash and not push it down in the trash. Like the trash isn't full. Push it down in the trash, please. I hate that. Can you come please do this, sir? Thank you. Now, was that so hard? I'm sorry I had to show y'all trash. Um, my apology. It's boiling a little bit now, but before it started boiling, I was in here scraping the bottom. I'm um, trying to save as much rice as I can before it burns. Um, I typically have a lot of burnt rice at the bottom, no matter how much oil and um, butter I put in there. This is why you have to constantly stir. Because as soon as you walk away, it only takes a minute for the rice to all settle at the bottom and stick. Unless you have a super good, bougie, non-stick pot. So I'm gonna just pour a little bit of my um, sesame seed oil in here. And they say oil and water doesn't mix. So how can it, ooh, it popped, stop my rice from sticking at the bottom if oil and water does not mix. Somebody answer me that. You know what? Can anybody also tell me where are the speakers for the doorbell? I mean, we hear the doorbell when someone rings it, but where are the speakers? And why are cowboys called cowboys and they ride horses? Shouldn't they be called horse boys? And the question I've been asking for years why is a driveway called a driveway when you park there? And a park is, okay, never mind. I just don't want to confuse you guys. Cause maybe it's just me thinking too hard. No, I'm going to say it. Why is a driveway called a driveway and you park there but a parking space is called a parking space and you drive in it? Like, I don't, it's a lot of like stuff that I don't get. Am I like thinking too hard? Like somebody please let me know.
Okay, we're gonna turn this on low now. It's been boiling for a little bit while I was sitting here wasting time, not wasting time, but passing some time, letting some time pass, talking to you guys. It's full on boiling now, so I'm gonna turn it down. I'm not gonna turn it on low. Um, you know what I am, because I got some stuff to do. You can also do that. You don't have to wait till most of the water boil out. I'm gonna turn it on too, and then put a lid on it. Um, and if you smell a burning smell, that's because the rice is sticking to the bottom and it's burning. So not all of your rice is burning, just the ones that stick into the bottom. So the aroma from that is gonna be coming out. And it's a horrible smell. It smells like you're burning up supper or dinner. Dinner and a movie. I think that's gonna be my Sunday today. Well, stores, family time. Okay, I gotta put the two big lid on it. It matches this pot, you know, it's like the same pot, but I have a bigger one. So this one doesn't quite fit, but it's okay. Put the lid on it, maybe leave a little crack. Yeah, I'll do that. So this is how it looks after sitting with the lid on it for a while. You know, just everything forms together. Still a lot of water, but I'm stirring it in. So I'm starting to see rice and veggies and maybe some Cajun rice <laughs> mixed in at the bottom. I'm not sure. Still feel some stuck at the bottom, but you still got a lot to eat. So you can actually eat it like this. It'll be like red beans and rice soup. When I've been starving before and cooked this, I fix me a bowl while I'm waiting. You know, the rice is basically done. You can still eat it like this. It does not have to be thick. You know, it's just hot, whatever consistency you want. But yeah, I'll fix me a bowl like this. Back on it and let it sit for a little bit longer. Almost, Sally. Almost. All right. And just let the lid on a little bit longer. I think it's been about maybe 15 20 minutes. This is the consistency I like. And like I said, I would have ate it the other way as well. Come on. Let's fix the bowl. Don't let it touch the outside of the bowl. So I'm going to rip these rice over it. I could have made some croissants and biscuits too. Oh, uh, why y'all opening y'all mouth? Huh? You could, you should have made some. Yeah, I could have. Just did it for me, huh? Um, Q, give me a bowl for Soleil. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That's a plate. Where's her, um, little, right here. Jock T when church is dragging. <laughs> I normally be first on his little video. That might be a little Cajun spot right there. Where's the spoon? Yeah, that tray. It's my man's bowl. And yeah, he's gonna have second and thirds. Really cute. Move. Move. He can't even grab the darn plate. About to drop everything on my head. So, yeah, this is my man's bowl, but I'm about to taste it. Like I said, he's probably going to have seconds and thirds. There's no problem about it. He's going to do it. Ooh, hot. Oh, hot. Huh? Mm. Really good. I remember you don't need any seasonings or anything. You buy it straight out of the box like that. It's quick, yummy. Everything already comes in the bag. Um... I should have got him a huge bowl, like on the movie Friday, and made it in that, but this is good. Let's see if you want some croissants, because it don't take long to put those in the oven. Um, All right, so thank y'all so much for watching. Please, um, what was I going to say? Can you take that, please? Mm -hmm. So, lady, can't hear you. Hold on, let me turn the fan off. 
somewhat. So he's getting her little Dollar General plate that I bought on clearance. Uh, and the tag is off. Go ahead, they can hear you. Uh, I don't know what I said. What did Hold I her say? plate for me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give me a video a thumbs up. Yes, please give the video a thumbs up. Oops. Nope, don't put your hand up here. That's hot. <laughs> um, please tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts. And please don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Ooh, that's a lot of rice. I forgot I was fixing Soleil plate. She'll eat that. Give her a plastic spoon. Um, yeah, it's Sade with the receipts. And my backup page, Sade with the receipts one. And my Facebook group, if you request to join, please answer all three questions. That's all we ask. Um, if you want to be accepted into the group. What am I forgetting, you guys? Oh, that squeaky cabinet is getting on my nerve. I need to oil it. Um, I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a happy Sunday. Shout out to my great and I was going to say favorite, but I have two, two favorite moderators, Geraldine and Tamika. I really appreciate you guys and everything that you do, um, for the group on the channel. Okay. And on YouTube. Um, if my members didn't see my last post, please go check the community tab members only only members will see that post. Please go check it. All right. ASAP. If you can um, and all we have to say is share, 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 share if you dare, honey. honey. And I will see you guys on the next video. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> it did sound funny when Q said honey. That's I why you was laughing. Because yes. he never say that. <laughs> Q had to think twice after that. And Lonnie, everybody looked at him like, honey. Q is, he finna be messed up for the rest of the day. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to traumatize you. Q ne never say that. He always be the last one. He'll be like, peace. <laughs> I love y'all. Toodles. Toodles. Peace. See, told you.